Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena Pereira. I love makeup and I'm from Sydney, Australia. Today's video is going to be on all of the items from the P. Louise line. Now, before I get into this, obviously this video is not sponsored. I bought these products with my own money. So if you guys don't know who P. Louise is or Paige Louise, um, Paige Louise is a makeup artist on Instagram. She's absolutely incredible. I will leave all of her details linked down below her Instagram, all that kind of stuff. She is an artist from the UK. She has, not only is she a working makeup artist, but she has a makeup academy. So you can actually book um, like pro MUA courses or beginner MUA courses or whatever you like. Um, and she has brought out a line of products that are bomb as. So here to talk about we have um, not only the P. Louise palette, we've also got her eyeshadow bases as well to talk about and these have been going around everywhere. And we also have some of her pigments too to talk about. If I'm looking like a hot mess, I just came from the gym literally. Like I had a whole day of work, went to the gym, worked up a sweat, got home, uh, was like I have to sit and film it right away. I'm not even going to bother with getting dressed or making myself look great. So if my hair's a mess, I'm sorry, I'm wearing my uni jumper. I'm a proud Western Sydney uni student. Um, so yeah, we are just like, the, like the, this is this is the this is the real tea. The look that I was inspired by for this video was a P. Louise look. Again, I'm gonna link this specific look down below. And the look that I was inspired by was this one here. It's not a hundred percent the same, but it is. Like, I kind of emulated the same shape, I did the same kind of techniques, the same colours. So we kind of like tried to do the same kind of thing going on here. Obviously my eye shape is different to the one of the model, so it's not going to look the exact same. This is already a long enough intro. So, before I get into the video, please be sure to like this video because you know you're going to love it because we've got a bomb ass look coming up. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. If you're watching and not subscribed, we've got a problem. I don't think that we need to have more of a discussion about that. Um, also, be sure to leave a comment down below. If you guys want to learn more about P. Louise's products and see this look, then please keep on watching. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and use the P. Louise palette today. So excited. It is absolutely stunning. I love this color scheme. It's really beautiful. It's neutral, but it's still got like a lot of pops of color, which I love. So first thing I'm going to do, of course, is take the P. Louise base. This one's in the shade two. So P. Louise now has um, different colored bases. Before there was just one color, which was quite light. I'm going to go ahead and take this MAC 243 brush. It's like just like a flat concealer brush. And I'm just going to take that base and I'm just going to just stamp it on the eye and with this base you don't want to rub you really just want to pat and press it into the eye because patting it is what's really going to help to it almost transforms this base and that is the base applied i'm now going to go straight in with some shadow i'm going to go ahead at first and take this shade here which is called contour straight onto the eye and I'm going to keep it really nice and low in the crease. So I'm going up to kind of where my crease begins, but I'm not going any further than that. At this stage, I'm just looking to build up the color. And I'm basically just going to put this all over the lid. We're going to go ahead and cut the lid and cut the crease. So don't worry too much about color being everywhere. Once we've got that applied, we're going to go ahead and take the next shade, which is Martini right here, which was the next shade over. And basically, we're going to put that straight on top, going slightly higher, and we're going to start to really blend that. So, again, in the same spot, but this time, we're really going to just start to blend. And all the colors that you apply, you kind of want them to overlap one another. And one, so that way you don't go too high in the crease, because once you go too high with the color, it's really hard to, like, blend that out, because we have to fit from here, we have to fit another three colors from here to the brow bone. So... You don't want to have like, you know, the highest color really in your brow. You want to leave space for it. And you can see these shadows, they blend out so easily. Like it's not even a joke how quickly these blend out and easily. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Burnt, which is this really pretty orange shade. For that, I'm using a Morphe R38 brush. And again, same thing. I'm just going to apply it just slightly over where we put that last shade. 
but not going too high. So you can see we've added that color in, but we're not at the brow yet. We still have a little bit of room. The shade Sun Kissed. This is a really repetitive process, and I know it seems like you know, there's so many colors in this, but it does make a difference to the overall look. The more colors you have, I feel like just the more blended and put together this all looks. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to go ahead and use the shade P. Louise, which is this really gorgeous mustard yellow. This would look beautiful, like even like all over the lid, like as a big wash of color. And I'm taking this on a Morphe R40 brush, so a slightly bigger brush. And this is basically going to go in the up high crease and go a little bit in the brow. And this is also why I've decided to do, like, to kind of finish off my brow afterwards. What I was in my brow now is just, like, from what's been during the day. So I'm going to go ahead and, like, add a full brow like we have on this side. Um, but when you're doing looks like this where you are blending colors into your brow, I really like to do the brow afterwards because I feel like it just makes it so much easier. And that way you can really, like, really smoke out your eyeshadow and you don't have to worry about stuffing it all up and whatnot. Okay. That is what we are looking so far. As you can see, really quick to get here. These shadows are so easy to blend. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the same base. We're going to use the Pea Louise base to create this cut crease. I've got some on my hand, and if I need to add more, I will. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the exact same brush that I used to apply the base, and I'm going to take this, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a little bit of this concealer straight onto the eye, and then I'm going to look up. And as you can see, it's stamped on the top where I need to cut the line. So that's kind of where I need to end my cut crease. All right, that is where I need to end it. So then what I need to do from there is I just basically take the concealer and I'm, I'm going to cut the whole lid. And I know you can see on this side we've done like a spotlight, but this is the easiest way to do a spotlight. I feel like you get the best blend if you do it this way. I'm just going to cut the entire lid. I'm going to match it up to the inner corner. Okay, now we've got the uh, first part. We're going to do the last part, which to me is actually easier. Literally, you just keep following the same line. And then you just curve it off at the end. But now I'm going to go ahead and just make sure it's really nice and clean and it's not jaggedy. And that the shape is all right and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish that off camera and I will be right back. Alright guys, so now that I've gone ahead and just crisp up this look, this is what we've got going on here. So we've got concealer all over the lid, and I know it kind of sounds crazy, we've gone to all this work blending, and then we've kind of cut it all, but you can still see peeking through, you can still see the shade contour and martini, and then that builds up to go to that really nice kind of like sunset -y transition gradient. And that's what we wanted. So don't worry too much about this kind of outer corner part, and even like the inner corner, if it's not totally perfect, it doesn't really matter because that's going to get covered anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and take a Morphe E18 brush. And this is what I'm going to use for the majority of this work. It is like a pencil brush, but it's kind of like a more fluffy pencil brush. I'm just going to go ahead and take the shade Bestie, this really nice dark brown. I'm taking the tiniest bit of that shade. I'm ducking in twice and then dusting off the excess. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this over that concealer. And don't worry if it doesn't blend into the shadow that we have in the crease because we're going to fix that. So just applying bit by bit. I don't want to apply too much in one go. Basically, I'm just going to go ahead and take this inner and outer corners. And again, don't worry about if it's blending or not because we're going to fix that in a quick set. I'm going to start kind of creating that kind of V shape on the eye. If you can think of like that V shape, it does help. Back into the shade contour, taking the same brush, taking a little bit more of contour though because we do want more of that kind of purple undertone. And I'm going to take that right over that shade, like we did in the crease, but bringing it a little bit more in as well. And we're just really going to press it at the moment, again, just building up colour. Then going into shade Martini, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go ahead now and start to blend that. So I'm going to take my Morphe F033. I'm first going to blend out those inner and outer corners. Just make sure that that whatever colour we've put on the outer and inner corners is going to blend with the shadow that's actually in the crease. So we're just going to blend that up, blend that in, and then also I'm going to blend across the lid as well. This is the C224 Oval Concealer Brush from Crown Brushes. Slay, which is right here, and I'm going to spritz the brush just a little bit, kind of work the product in the back of my hand against that cut crease that we did. 
and I'm literally just going to draw down. Just draw down, and then I'm just going to start to blend. Just going to start to kind of just finesse those edges. Now when I get to the fun part, and this was going to bring this look all together, I'm going to go ahead now and take a couple of pigments from the P. Louise range. There are two here that I'm going to kind of mix, and so when I was doing this look, I first thought that it was actually the... Um, shade gold digger that was on the lid and then when I put this on it kind of didn't really give me the vibe so I put a little bit of goldgasm on top so both of these two mix kind of give me what I was after um I still think that something is not a hundred percent in this look compared to the photo that I'm like referencing off but I think it's a pretty good match so I'm still you know pretty happy with it so I'm gonna first take the shade gold digger with my broken up brush that you guys know I absolutely adore and I'm actually going to Europe so I hope I can find this brush I'm gonna buy like 10 more because I remember buying this in Europe like I don't know six seven years ago so I hope to get some more um, I'm actually gonna also apply a little bit of a base um, just for the glitter so I'm using this base here from Sephora this is my favorite glitter base of all time and I don't think that Sephora Chalier sells this but this is the Sephora brand 24-hour glitter glue my favorite I'm then gonna take a little bit of gold digger on that same brush and I'm just going to apply it straight on top and you can see this is like a gold but it has like a really pretty like pink kind of purple lilac reflect it's really pretty take a little bit of gold chasm and I'm just gonna layer that just straight over the top I'm gonna go ahead and just re-intensify a little bit of those colors um, so I'm just going to take like contour and martini and just whatever you feel like you need. Alright guys, so I went ahead, I blended, I added some more glitter, I did what I felt like I had to do. And I'm really happy with the way this look is. But I am going to go ahead now and work on the lower lash line. That's also going to help it kind of all match up together. So I'm first going to take a black liner. This one here is just from Chanel. I know it's super bougie, but honestly you can use any black liner. This is just a liner that I have. That I use it's nothing special I'm just gonna use that to tight line so we're lining the upper part of the waterline I'm also gonna take it in the waterline and a bit on the lower lash line as well okay again you're gonna go in with my bullet brush my E18 brush from Morphe one of my favorite brushes I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade bestie again and I'm just gonna smoke out that lower lash line and literally, I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I did in my crease. Same brush taking contour. And you want to make sure that you match it up with whatever's on the, on the top lash line. So you kind of just want to extend that out. Then going in with Martini. I feel like a really smoking under eye really helps to kind of disguise any discoloration that you got going on down here. Because it is going to... Like, it's, it's kind of just going over that anyway. And it's going over the puffiness. Going into the shade Burnt. Taking that underneath, then going in with Sunkissed. And then last but not least, taking my R40 brush with P. Louise. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara now to my top and bottom lashes. And I'm throwing quite a lot on that lower lash line, especially because we've gone quite far down with the shadow. I feel like you really need to like make your lower lashes really nice and chunky and spidery and really just... Get that all sorted. The shades Slay and Prin together. And I'm just going to take that into the inner corner. I want to make sure I really like load this up. And I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of go ahead and just diffuse them. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of Goldgasm. That inner corner really pop. And the same brush is going to go in with Prin and Slay again. And just take it also on the brow bone. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and just do this brow off camera. Pop some lashes on and tidy up this under eye. And we'll be right back. We are ready to just do some glow. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Slay from the palette. This makes a stunning face highlight. So I am just going to spritz my skin just a little bit. I'm going to use the uh, Mecca Makeup Effecting Mist. I've actually been like really enjoying this. It's actually like a pretty good setting spray. So I'm just taking a little bit of that. It, it is a bit aggressive with the spray. So you kind of have to set a little bit back. And take the shade Slay. And I'm just going to slay my cheekbones like I mean. And also while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and add some blush. I'm taking this little blush palette from Tarte. Um, this is the 
Hamptons Weekend palette. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my blush brush. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and apply some gloss and I will be right back. Now, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This look is totally complete. Um, basically, to conclude, I'm obsessed with all these products. I think that they are awesome. Uh, P. Louise is an amazing makeup artist just in general, and I will have all of her details linked down below. And definitely, if you are someone that is in the market for a really great eyeshadow palette and some bomb-ass makeup products, definitely go with Paige Louise. I can't wait to see what she comes out with next, because we all know she's going to come out with something else. It's a bomb next. And I just can't wait to like see her looks and see how she changes and evolves as an artist and see how her products move forward. Um, her first products have already been an amazing hit. Her palette is incredible. I don't think I can really fault it at all. Um, the color scheme is absolutely beautiful. The quality is amazing. The quality of the palette itself is great. It comes with a mirror. There's nothing I can really fault about this palette or any of the products really in general. So I am just so blown away by everything and I hope I really hope to see her continue and see the brand evolve and keep going. Alright guys that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget before you leave to give this video a big thumbs up that helps me out a lot. You guys know that. Also while you're down there be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and if you're watching and not subscribed we've got a problem. Do you realize that? Because I'm meeting you halfway you have to meet me halfway come on that's how this works. I'm giving you good content you need to kind of just, you know, like meet me at the borderline. Meet me halfway. Meet me at the borderline. Guys, also be sure to click the notification bell, which is the little bell that's next to the subscribe button because YouTube will not notify you when I upload a new video unless you are clicking that button. Super important. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of uh, the P. Louise products. Let me know what you think about P. Louise as an artist. Let me know if you guys have tried the products, what you think of it. Will you buy it? All that kind of stuff. And also be sure to check me out on my other social media. I am across Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. That all is Selena J. Pereira. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Mwah.